the emergence of the web development life cycle. WDLC has revolutionized the way websites and web applications are built. This video shares the stages and technologies used, helping businesses create successful projects. What is the web development life cycle? The software and web development life cycle adheres to a specific standard that has to be followed to move in the right direction. There are frameworks, methodologies, modeling tools, and languages involved. The web development life cycle is a method that outlines the stages involved in building websites and web applications. It provides a structured approach, ensuring optimal results throughout the development process. What is the seven stages of the web development life cycle? Step number one, gathering relevant information. Step number two, planning, system up and wireframe. Step number three, design and layout. Step number four, content creation. Step number five, development. Step number six, testing, review and launch. Step number seven, maintenance and updation. The first stage is the most important in understanding the life cycle approach of website development as it involves learning about the client's requirements. Identify their needs and help them by providing the perfect solution. Have a clear idea about the target audience, what the business goals are, and how the website will be utilized to accomplish those objectives. Purpose What is the purpose of the website that the developer will be building? What is the actual plan to provide information solely and sell a product or service? Objectives What is the main goal of building the website? Whether it is informational or promotional. Target audience Is there a specific group of people that will help in accomplishing your objectives? During the website design and development process, it is important to visualize what type of people you would like to visit the website. Consider their age, gender, likes, and dislikes. This will certainly help in designing the best website according to their interest. Content What type of content do you post on the site? Is the audience looking for a specific type of information? Are they looking for promotions, deals, or offers to avail? The news portal is different from an entertainment site, and online sites for teenagers are different from adults. Every website is different from the other. So gathering relevant information regarding the project is very important. 2. Planning, system up and wireframe. With all the information that has been gathered from stage 1, the design and implementation strategies are planned according to the type of website and target audience. A site map is created in this phase. For building a full-fledged website having impeccable features and functionalities. It is important to plan wisely. There has to be a detailed list of all the areas of the website and the subtopics. This is a guide that describes what content will be. They're on the site and there is an easy to understand navigational system. Think of the best user interface that is created for easy navigation. The wireframes give an outline of the pages of the website. Take the help of tools for creating the wireframe. All the planning processes should have the involvement of the client. So, the client has an idea about the blueprint of the project. 3. Design and layout. Next is to determine the look and feel of the website. In the design phase, it is essential to embed elements like the logo of the company and the colors that help to enhance to the identification of the company on the website. The designer gives life to the graphics, topography, colors, animations, buttons, drop down and pop up menus and more as per the project requirement. It is the responsibility of the web designer to create one or more than one prototype for the website. 
This is basically a JPEG image of the final design. Designers give companies access to the workflow so that they can view the progress of the development. Meeting the demand of the audience with the help of web design is also crucial. If the design is mundane, the website will not be able to capture the user's attention, and this will increase the bounce rate. The elements should reflect the brand image as well as the business vision. According to recent research, 75% of users make judgments about a company's credibility based on their website design. Therefore, it's not just about having a functional website, but also creating an exceptional user experience that fosters trust and engagement. Content creation, no matter how visually appealing your website may be. Effective communication with your customers is indispensable. Content creation in web development lifecycle. The primary objective of content creation is to establish a communication channel through the user interface. It involves presenting relevant information about your company in an engaging and easily comprehensible manner. This encompasses the inclusion of compelling calls to action, crafting creative headlines, formatting the content for readability, performing line editing, updating the texts throughout the entire web development process. The content creation stage plays a pivotal role in shaping the branding and marketing of your website or web application. Development. The development is a stage where the website is built while maintaining the essence of the website's purpose. All the graphic elements are taken into consideration and are used to generate a functional website. The process begins with first developing the home page, followed by the interior pages. The main focus is given to the navigational structure of the site. Content management system, interactive contact us forms and shopping carts are made functional in this development step. The web design and development company suggests changes that are done after consideration. Do you know that a successful website needs an understanding of front-end website development and back-end development? This means valid HTML slash CSS codes are compiled as per the web standards to enhance the functionality for a larger audience. Testing, review, and launch after the completion of web development, it is tested. The functionality is tested along with the device compatibility. The web designer should be well versed with the current trends and standards, so that the design and development are done accordingly. The technologies used are HTML and CSS. The tester validates the codes written for the website. When the designer is given the final approval, the website is ready for delivery. The quality assurance team tests for functionality, compatibility, and performance to ensure that the website is ready for launch. Other testing includes integration testing, stress testing, scalability, load testing, resolution testing, and cross-browser compatibility. Once the green flag is shown, it is deployed to the server using FTP. Maintenance and Updation The web development stages don't end after deployment. There are many post-deployment tasks that take place. Some elements are changed as per the user's feedback, support, and maintenance. One good way to grab potential visitors and repeat their visits is to keep updating the content and adding new products on a regular basis. The website drives by CMs allows the customer to edit the content. Thank you for watching. If you like my video support me by like and share.